First crystal structure, the FCC, base center cubic crystal. We want to figure out the density, theoretical density of an FCC crystal. And what we're going to use here is geometry. Now density, rho, is simply just defined as mass over volume. So if we want to figure out the density of this crystal, we just have to figure out the volume of the crystal and the mass within the crystal. It's a pretty straightforward thing to do. So let's say we have some atom. And we'll just say some elements, E. And this element E has an atomic radius of big R. So these are going to be the two things we use to figure out the mass and the volume. So what's the volume of this cube? Well, to figure it out, we need to figure out the length of each side of the cube. So a cube has a length, A, A, and A. This is a cube, all three sides are the same. So we just figure out the length of each one side, we can figure out the length, the, side, the volume of the whole cube. So each atom has some radius R. And looking at this diagram, we can see that the cross, the distance from diagonal to diagonal across this is going to be 4R. So this length here is 4R. Now, the length of each side of the face is A. So if we use Pythagorean's theorem, we get A squared plus A squared equals 4R squared or 16R squared. So let's give us that A squared is 8R squared. So A is just R times the square root of 8. We can simplify this further to give us that this is 2 times r times the square root of 2. Now the volume of this cube here is going to be a cubed, so we've got to cube it. So volume is a cubed, which equals r cubed times 8 times 2 to the 3 halves. So we've got one term here, the volume. Now we need to figure out the mass. So how do we do it? Well, we've got atoms, right? We've got an atom in each corner and one in each face. So we've got, we'll call these eight corner atoms. And fix face atoms. Now, each corner atom, the entire atom isn't within the crystal, only part of it is. In fact, one eighth of the atom is within the crystal itself. So for each corner atom, we get an eighth of the atom. Since we got eight of them, we get one total atom. Now when it comes to the face atoms, we've got six faces, so we've got six face atoms, but only half of the atom is actually within the crystal. So really we only get three atoms from our crystal. So this gives us a total of four atoms within the crystal. Okay, what do we do with that? Well. If we've got four atoms, and we divide by Avogadro's numbers, so 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole, and we know that for every mole of our element E, we have whatever the molecular weight of element E is, this will give us our mass. So our mass is just four, divided by Avogadro's number times the molecular weight of whatever the element is E. So if we plug back into this formula, and I'm going to erase this part up here, we'll get the density, rho, is four times one over Avogadro's number times the molecular weight of whatever element E is. And the volume here is R cubed times eight times two to the three halves. So if we start simplifying here, we're going to get the density equals 1 over the atomic radius cubed times 2 times 2 to the 3 halves times 1 over Avogadro's number times the molecular weight of element E. And this is our theoretical density of a face center cubic. Now, here's the challenging thing for you. 
R is typically given in units of angstroms or nanometers, so either 10 to the minus 10 or 10 to the minus 9 meters. Typically, when we look at density, though, we like density in terms of grams per cubic centimeters. So you're going to have to make sure you have the right units here to get the units you want. If R is given to you in terms of angstroms or nanometers, you're going to have to convert R to centimeters to give you centimeters cubed. Other than that, though, everything else should follow for an SEC crystal. Plug in this formula, make sure you've got the correct units for R, make sure you've got the molecular weight and you're using Avogadro numbers correctly, and you should get a density typically between 1 or 10 depending on the material you're working with.